I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is about a hundred year old uh, player piano that uh, is sentimental to a, a local family here. We're going to be doing some, some rebuilding on it. We're not going to do a complete rebuild, but uh, we're going to be changing out some pretty significant um, components on it, kind of cherry picking the very most crucial components that we're going to be redoing. So, and then, and then we're going to be doing some re refinishing as well. Not our very highest level of refinishing, but uh, it'll be um, a big improvement from, from where it is now. So why don't we start there? Why don't we have a look at just kind of these kinds of things. Looks like somebody put a, a, plant. a plant, I guess. I mean, it almost looks like somebody put a can of paint on it. I don't know, or, or, or like polish remover. I don't know. It's just really bad scratches, very deep. This piano has been very well loved. And the plastic here, this is not ivory, it's kind of an imitation ivory from like the 1930s maybe, that has, it has these imitation sort of lines in it that make it sort of mimic ivory somewhat. But this early plastic is, is just really uh, it's just as brittle as you can see as, as real ivory is. So I'm guessing that when that was done, say, you know, let's, let's just say for the sake of argument, say, say 1935, somewhere in there, this piano was already 20 years old or so. And so they replaced it with the plastic. The, the ivory had, had probably been badly damaged. So they redid the whole thing with this plastic. Um, and now it's looking pretty pretty shoddy again so we'll take care of that and these sharps too just we've got these deep deep gouges it's badly damaged i'm guessing these are not uh, ebony ebony is a wood is a type of dark wood comes in black and brown and generally for sharps of course you choose the dark black Ebony. These are probably pine, painted pine, I would guess. You don't really know until you pop it off and, and you can drill into the bottom and if the sawdust is black, then it's, then it is real ebony. You can also actually put it in a glass of water and if it floats, then it's pine and if it sinks, it's ebony. It has to do with the, what is it, the specific gravity, I guess, of, of pine versus ebony. It's something pretty significant going on here. It looks like that got torn out of its base. And these are kind of looking, sort of. This one is not. And this piece of cabinetry is sort of broken out somewhere. We're not going to be rebuilding the player, unfortunately, even though it desperately needs it. I think we're going to be working on it. Take, take the player out work on the piano and then put the player back in. I think that's what, that's what this, this client asked for in case he wanted to redo the, redo the player at some future date. Yeah, this is just really, really rough. I mean, it almost looks like it was used as a, um, like a workbench or something. Maybe it was stored in a, in a garage for a while and lots of stuff was put on it, maybe. condition we're going to be replacing those and the uh, dampers as well we'll replace those we'll use modern modern dampers larger dampers triple dampers so that it so that it dampens a little bit better more in line with expectations modern uh, of modern expectations of dampening which is much much quicker cut off rather than the old the older 
expectations are. All that ringing. Hopefully we'll get rid of, probably not all of it, but we'll get rid of oh, half of it at least with the, with the triple dampers. Um, I would like to prefer to replace these bass strings, but that's just not in the budget. So we're going to be using those old bass strings, uh, hopefully, hopefully by cleaning them up a little bit and replacing the, the, the hammers and getting it tuned. Hopefully uh, it'll sound a lot better than it does now. These old players, they're supposed to be airtight and in order to function correctly and they just i mean nothing can nothing can be airtight for a hundred years with especially with the number of joints the number of connections that pianos have okay well there's there's that looks like it broke off maybe oh no it's a wheel no, that'll be fine. That's easy. It's a wheel that goes here. That's just the lever and the wheel that rides on this track here. So we can open and close that. So we'll have to figure out, find a wheel at Home Depot or something to attach it. And down here, I think you just typical, super dirty. And we'll fix things up. I, I don't know what the base bridge looks like. That's that's always a suspect area. So um, it can't be terrible. Things are basically chromatic, which tells me it's probably not terrible on that base bridge. I, I kind of get the impression that a lot of these older players were built to a little bit higher standard. Than, than the average, so yeah, and I see I see no issues whatsoever with the, with the bridge that I can see there. So that's I mean another clue that the bridge down there that's behind the hidden behind all the player mechanism is probably okay. But uh, yeah, this will be this will be a good a good turnaround. <laughs> 